right now it's time to check out the number nine in the C's series. We're gonna go out and take for a spin. You see this one's girthy compared to the six we've just been on. And it's got two cabins inside, so come on in, let's check it out. Two motors right there, a nice opening seat. This, this is substantially bigger. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. This is a boat. And then this seat, once the engines are down, yeah. seat at the back. Yeah, and once again, a little cushion. cushion, little cushion there. I like that it's got the dimming on the top as well. That's extra, isn't it? Yeah. And this is more easier to get round. So I'm just going to go around the side. This one's a lot more spacious to do that. And you've got a massive area, back to play area. You've got some beds here. Go for a little relax. Check out the people inside. Hello. It's more spacious, this one. It's even got a side, got a roof. They can even install solar panels and get off the grid. What do you reckon, Sophia? You're sleeping. She loves it. This one is way more spacious. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Even this. Yeah. Oh, you've got cooking. This is gas operated, I guess. This one's it's like this LP gas storage here. So you just lift this up and you access the gas, gas bowl. It's got gas lift. You can see yourself in this one. This is huge compared yeah. to the six. Oh, like Massive table. Yeah. Extends the scale as well. Get towels. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get that in a six. Oh, this, look at this cabin. Wow. Oh, it's a bathroom. Yeah, this is separate doors. Oh, this is like a proper one. Oh, this is a proper boat. This is a proper boat. The other one was just a play It goes all the way around in there and actually around the corner here there's just a lot of cushions here that have been taken off in the mean interim but yeah it's a much larger space than it looks there's even lighting that's all right so a lot more spacious very very comfortable seat maybe i'll get a bit closer i'll see if i can adjust the seat this obviously looks you got twin engine now so you can move them both at the same time or individually which makes reversing and turning a lot easier. This one also has a, has a bow thruster. I think it might be this. We're going to get the captain to show us how to use it, which makes maneuvering in and out a lot easier than trying to do it by the engines. And you've still got this massive display for the Garmin, so you can see what you can the And is this the bow thruster? That's the bow thruster, yeah. If you press those, see the two on buttons? Yeah. If you press those, press the two. I don't want to crash. Go on. <laughs> press the two on buttons together. Yep. The lights come on. Now give it a little touch to the left. Uh, a touch oh. to this way. All right. Yeah. So it moves the whole boat like this. this. Front of the front of the boat. Oh, the front of the boat. So it turns the boat. Got it. And this just goes forward. Perfect. And does the seat go forwards, or is it? I think it does. Yes, Maybe. It does. There's a little lean to the side. Ah, oh, perfect. Yep. Yeah. Short people that you could use it. Mm -hmm. I guess it's. Not much, <laughs> but you get used to it, I guess. Yeah. And then that seat, the other seat, that will fold, 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 fold back, fold back the other way. Yes. 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 Yes.
sorry. There you go. Oh, you'd be cruising. This is nice. And you've got a drinks holder there as well, I think. Yep. Really comfortable. There we go. I did it. Of course. Yeah, salesman. <laughs> I wonder which way he's having to go. He's still making up his mind. <laughs> That's not right. Down this way for a little bit. Because we're more than 6.5 meters, we just be a little bit careful. It's okay, I'll be there. We slide that. To an engine, you call the power, isn't it? Yeah. Solid. Yeah. Solid. Yeah. 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 Like I'm surfing right now. It looks gorgeous, though. The wake that's produced. With this one, you got all on. Um, this out. We're using quite from this speed, from this rim, we're using 20 litres an hour, 20, you know, 24 and 24. That gives you fuel flow per engine. That's your total fuel. That's what's in the tank. So that's about 10 hours worth of driving. Yeah, 142 litres in the water bag. I'm a 40 litres from the other day. Oh, I get a lot of air. Nice. The defenders, they're useful for when you're parking your boat. You don't want to hit the pontoon that you're docking into. But when you're driving with the fenders on, they splash around a bit too much. So you're just pulling them in. It's nice to air. It's basically safe. I guess when you're going forward, the air in your face will be nice. Do you have air conditioning in your yacht? No. Don't need it? I don't need it, but it needs a bit of water. Well, the last couple of weeks, that really Really hot spell, you notice know, just, uh, just turn the fan on. Yeah. And you can feel the difference. Yeah. Feels like it. Yeah. Feels like solid. Ripping it, letting it rip. 25 knots. 29 knots. 31 knots. Whoa, that's nice. Is it quite Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait. Nice to get so fast. It just breaks the waves up. It's not as uh, bumpy as the last place here. All right, I'm taking over the, the helm. Oh, this is nippy. It's got acceleration, isn't it? I see what you were doing. <laughs> Up 
breaking up the waves. I like this map as well. Big difference, eh? Yeah. You know, the ball that you burn on the last bike, but I said, 12 pounds. Yeah. It's looking at the bigger bike. And this one will be all right to take past the bar, right? Parking outside, you know, we're the people, you know. We don't go out on the last week, you know, we're on the last week, you know, we're on the last week, you know, we're on the last week, you know, calm, go on the coast, go down to the plane. Would it be doable to go to Ely Beach? Uh, it depends on your time. People have to have a little food. You have plenty of time. Just do day hops and pick your weather. Yes, you could. Oh, All the way along here, we've got to do. Otherwise, they ring the police. Yeah, you want to avoid the, the blue means um, it's shallow waters. Okay. Do you know like when we hit yeah, the yeah. sand in the, the jet ski? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you don't want to do that. The same thing. We're down there. You did. You did. You want to go? You're pretty happy with that, I think. Yeah, yeah. You, you were very comfortable there, actually. <laughs> Just chill. Drive when it's slow, it's very, very smooth. When it's fast, it's very smooth. In between, it gets a bit, you know, choppy. But it depends on how much waves there are. Yeah. But it's versatile, you've got lots of options. So we're probably in about four metres of water here. When that shows zero, you want to be we're in trouble. Oh, so zero is the worst. Yeah. So you can still drive on one. Yeah. But Ideally um, two. Ideally two. Yeah. Get down to one, or if you're down one, you can lift, you can tilt the engine a bit more. Uh, if you need to go into shallow water. And do you tilt the engine using the controls here, or did you just go around yeah. the back? Oh, got it. Yeah. So we're on the outside now, just hanging out on the little table seating area. There are cushions to go, but yeah, you can just chill by the engine. So you don't have to do this with the engine. But this will steer the front of the boat. Sometimes you've got to adjust a little bit. Like you can make the boat go sideways uh, with, your, with your engines and the, and the bow thruster. I'll just show you that. If I want to go there, I'll just put the wheel hard this way. Put it in reverse. So it's going a bit this way. But that comes after a little while. Practice. <laughs> can you beach this? Uh... You can. You can. You just got to be careful, you know, with the tide going up and down. If you just want to run out the front on the beach so you can just jump off or something, you can do that. But if the tide's going out, you go on the beach. It's stuck. It's stuck. Can you drop those in the water for you? Oh, yeah. Right, we're parking up. Should have done it. 